Well, Jackie, let's take a look at this next slide. We have a couple of questions for you. The first one here says, are you usually early, on time, or late for appointments or work-related events? What do you think? Um, sometimes I'm late for like appointments or work. Mm -hmm. And so, why are you why are you late? Is there usually a reason why you're late for things? Yes, you know. Sometimes I just procrastinate. Ooh. I do you know the last minute. I see. Procrastinate is a good word. I like this word. A lot of people have this habit. They procrastinate things. There's another way to say this uh, in English. And in English we say to put something off. Which means you delay it. You say, well, I'll, I'll, I'll do that tomorrow. Or I'll do that this afternoon. And then that afternoon, what do you say? I'll do that tomorrow. So this is something that uh, a lot of people do pretty regularly. So is this why you're late to things? Is because you procrastinate? So does it mean that we postpone doing something? Mm -hmm. Postpone is a good word too. Postpone is more like there's a reason. We can say that postpone is because there's a reason. So let's say the game was postponed because of the weather. Okay, so if you're playing uh, a football game or a tennis game and it rains, then you have to delay the game. There's a reason that it was postponed or the meeting was postponed because the boss is not here today. But when you procrastinate, it's usually just because you're lazy. There's no reason to do it. You just don't want to do it. So postpone is for a good reason. There's, a, there's an important reason behind it. Putting something off is a bad thing. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? Sure. Okay. And then this word related, this phrase work-related events, do you know what this means? Work related means um, something about your job. Very good. We can use this in a lot of different ways. So we have school related or health related, which means something about health or something about school. And if you can't think of the word that describes work related, then you can just say something about work. Can you think of a work-related event? Um, like meeting. Mm -hmm. Very good. Do you have a lot of meetings where you work? Um, yeah. Sometimes we have to. We have we have meetings with all uh, the managers. Very good. And so these are important meetings to be on time for. So you have meetings, you have appointments, maybe you have uh, press conferences or shows. It's important to be on time for all of those things. Let's look at the second question. Does it bother you when someone is late meeting you? Does it bother you? Yeah. Yes? I, I, I just like, <laughs> you know, people procrastinate or put things off until the last minute. Yes. Very good. So you know what this word bother means? Bother, I guess, means um, to annoy. Very someone. good. Annoy, irritate, or even to make you mad. And so some people look at that word and they think that it's uh, spelled wrong because it looks like brother without the R. Yeah. But it is bother. It's not, it's not misspelled. So something bothers you. If it bothers you, then it, it irritates or annoys you, just like you said. So if it does, if someone is always late meeting you, do you normally tell them how you feel? Mm, most of the time, I conceal my mm -hmm. feeling about it. I, mean, I just ignore it. Uh -huh. I ignore it. 
Um, but if I cannot stand anymore, I'll be very furious. <laughs> and and what would you say with someone? Maybe you have a friend who is always late for lunch or always late for an appointment. What would you tell them? Um, I will say, like, hey, so how can I help you if you have any problem mm -hmm. or something? Yeah, so I, I, I will fix it. Uh, I will try to solve this problem and I'll tell him indirectly. Very good. So that's maybe a little bit nicer than saying, hey, you're always late. So this is called tact. Do you know this? Tact. Do you know what tact is? Tact is the way people um, communicate or something. Very good. Being tactful means being polite and saying things in a way that's easy for other people to accept. Mm -hmm. So this is a talent or a skill that people think is very important. So you sound like you're very tactful, Jackie. Let's look at the third question here. Have you ever forgotten to meet a friend? Mm. Uh, actually, I have, I have I haven't had this experience. Well, good for you. So you always remember. Yeah. Very good. So you at least remember. Maybe late, but you at least remember. Has your friend ever forgotten to meet you? Mm, yes. Mm -hmm. I got the experience before. One of my best friends for forgot to meet me uh, at, at, at the restaurant. Mm -hmm. And what did you say? And I attempt calling him for several times, but nobody answered. I would have been upset. So did you eat at the restaurant or did you leave? Uh, so I left. I would have left too. So sometimes we can't do anything about it, but some of these words that we used can help us to describe those things better. We can tell someone that we have a work-related event and we don't want to be late, or that when someone is always late that it bothers you. And so we practice these words in English. These are all very useful, and the more you practice, the, uh, the better you'll be at being able to answer these kinds of questions. So let's look at the next slide, okay, Jackie?